Hi there. Hopefully by now you're really getting to grips with the Dorian mode and that you've been using it to construct some musical ideas of your own. In this session I'd like to share with you some of my musical ideas and how I like to use the Dorian mode to create bass lines that will in turn fit with both minor and minor seventh chords. Last time we learnt about the Dorian mode's association with both minor and minor seventh type chords. And this comes about due to the fact that the chord tones of the Dorian mode play together create a minor seventh chord, whose root note is whichever note we choose to start our Dorian mode from. So, D Dorian creates a D minor seventh chord from its chord tones, and F Dorian an F minor seventh chord, and so on. Now it's important to remember that we can use the Dorian mode to spell out the sound of both minor and minor seventh type chords. And this is due to the fact that the first three chord tones create a minor triad, which is basically a minor chord. And we can then extend that chord by adding the fourth chord tone to create a minor seventh. Now, Think about the number of songs in music that contain these minor or minor seventh chords and hopefully you can begin to see why I think it's important we know how to represent and spell out these chords as bass players in a whole variety of musical styles. OK, to start with I'm going to base my ideas in the key of C major, meaning that I'll be using the mode of D Dorian. So, to help us build grooves and bass lines that support these minor and minor seventh chords, we're going to use what we call a vamp. Now, a vamp is basically just a repeatable section of music that can contain a chord sequence, or in this case, just the chord of D minor seventh, for us to practice using the D Dorian mode. Here's the first example using a blues rock vamp on a D minor 7th chord, so I'll be using D Dorian exclusively. 1, 2, 3, 4. of this line was created just using the chord tones from D Dorian, but importantly I've deliberately chosen not to play them in order, or within the octave range that they're normally found when we've played D Dorian in the past. So here's the sequence again and remember that I'm only using the chord tones of D, F, A and C to create this part of the bass line. It goes from the root note D to a low fifth, A, to C, which is the minor or flattened seventh, back to the root, and then up to a minor third, which in this case is the note of F, giving us this groove when played in time. Hopefully you noticed that I dropped out the chords for the second half of my example, and even without the chord present in the vamp, you could still distinctly hear the sound of the D minor 7th chord in my bass line. And the simple reason for this was that I created the line solely from the chord tones, which as we know, are what's used to create the chord. OK, also you probably heard that I added a little extra line into my idea, and this is something that I like to do at certain points in my bass lines to break up the repetitive nature of a vamp, particularly ones on one chord like this. Although I've used the same idea here, there are countless variations that I could have used, and this alone reiterates the fact that the more ways we have as a bass player for outlining the sound and character of a particular chord, the fresher and less repetitive our ideas will be. Now, there's absolutely no trickery involved here, and I've simply created this little fill using the notes from D Dorian, and interpreted them within this musical situation. 
The fill starts by playing D Dorian up to the fifth note. From here, I've skipped up to the flat seventh C, then down to the sixth, which I have to tell you is a personal favorite of mine. From here, I finish by going back down to the fourth, which is the note of G. So, played in time, the idea sounds like this. So, in this next example, I'm going to use C Dorian, which I hope you understand is the second mode of the B flat major scale. In this example, I'm going to play a reggae bass line using C Dorian to accompany a C minor seventh vamp. One, two, three, four. I don't know why, but I never seem to tire of playing reggae. Again, at the heart of this bass line is this repeating figure, which is quite simply the first three notes of C Dorian, C, D and E flat, followed by a low fifth or note of G. And this sequence is played like this. To add variety to the line, each time I play this repeating motif, I answer it with a different line. And the first of these is really easy and is something I try and get all bass players to use in as many musical situations as possible. And basically, it's just an arpeggio of the chord. As we're accompanying a C minor 7th vamp, I've used a simple C minor 7th arpeggio going down from the octave but missing out the root note in the process and going straight to the flattened seventh or note of B flat like this. Remember, we tend to only think of arpeggios as starting or finishing on either the root or octave note, but it's so very important to experiment with all your arpeggios, and please get used to deconstructing and playing the intervals contained within them beyond the typical one octave range. I've also added interest to this idea by starting it at a different point in the music, and due to this the line leads nicely back to the root note to continue on again each time. The second of these response ideas is identical in rhythm, but uses different notes of C Dorian to lead back to the root note. This time I've used G, B flat, G, A, and B flat again to get me back to C. Again, by having different choices available and alternating between these two different ideas as an answer to my original core idea, I'm able to keep reinventing the bass line whilst ensuring that I'm still outlining the sound of a C minor seventh chord. In this last example, I'd just like to return to using D Dorian and use this mode to construct what's known as a walking bass line to accompany a D minor 7th vamp, this time with a jazz feel. Now, I'm not going to go into analysing this example now, but don't worry, as I'll be showing you how to play and construct walking bass lines in a later session. But know this. All I'm going to use are the notes from D Dorian in this bass line, and I hope you'll hear the sound and colour of this mode, and how the individual notes support and interact with the chord I'm accompanying, in this case a D minor 7th. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I strongly encourage you to learn these examples and take ideas from them to create your own bass lines. To encourage this development in your own playing, I've put the three grooves at the end of this session for you to experiment using the Dorian mode. As you work towards creating bass lines of your own, 
Really listen to how your note choice affects the overall feel of your idea, and please keep working with these ideas until you're totally happy with the result. By spending time on this, you're actually tuning into your musical personality, and in the process, also learning how to represent the sound and harmony of minor seventh chords using the Dorian mode. So remember these ideas, and the next time you come across a minor seventh chord, you'll hopefully have a pretty good idea of what you'd like to play. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.